I'm Anna Durangelo. A homicide investigation is now underway after the death of a young Bay Area raver. And tonight it appears tainted drugs may not have been the only problems at the party. Joe Vasquez heard complaints about heat and hydration. Joe? And police say they're going to have to do toxicology tests to find out exactly what caused this problem. They say it may have been tainted drugs, but I talked to some party goers who described a scene. It was very hot Saturday night, and they say that, you know what, people were, uh, had limited access to water. The water bottles were 3 to $5, so they weren't uh, hydrating as much as they should have. The music festival was called Pop 2010, The Dream. And it was just that for many of the 15,000 who attended. It was one of the best nights of my life. Yeah. But one major problem. Joe Esfahani and Cody Stegmiller say it was blazing hot inside the Cow Palace. They watched as several people got sick, including one woman who passed out right in front of them. And she pale, just kind of looked like she's having gone in and out of seizures. The night turned fatal for one party goer. Anthony Mata was 23 years old. Five others were critically injured. Police say all of the victims were between the ages of 17 and 28, and all of them took the drug ecstasy. The symptoms are very severe of some of the victims, and they go beyond what is normally seen in simple drug overdoses. So this raises the possibility that the drugs may have been tainted. They are, they are being tested, uh, but the symptoms include uh, severe internal bleeding and kidney failure. We didn't get there until later that evening, and... Unfortunately, by the time I had gotten there, he had already passed away. <laughs> Dan Mata wasn't there when his son died at SF General Hospital because for some reason Anthony didn't have his wallet or any form of ID on him. He was just a, a, a wonderful kid, I, and I just don't want people to think that, you know, and to be judgmental because he's not a drug addict. He's, he wasn't a problem child, and, and he's going to be missed by, by so many people. Police had a heavy undercover presence inside the event. They say they arrested 73 people and confiscated ecstasy, LSD, cocaine, and other drugs. Now they say they will investigate Mata's death as a homicide. Yeah, right now uh, you have politicians ranging from Senator Leland Yee to the mayor of Daly City saying, you know what, maybe it's time to shut down raves and, uh, at the Cow Palace because they've had this problem before. People have died at the Cow Palace. Back in 2002, you had two deaths from a rave. Yeah, it's a tragic recurring theme. All right, Joe Vasquez in Daly City, thank you. Okay.